Hey guys, sorry it's been a while since I posted, uh, but today we're going to be doing some geode nails. Uh, I'm going to show you three different color combinations, uh, things like that. So I'm starting out right now with some white, and I'm going to put it kind of in the uh, the shape that I want the geode, the center of the geode to be in. Um, and I do this fairly thick because you'll see later on I'm going to file into it to create a little pocket inside to put the um, the crystal part of the geode in. So I'm just, like I said, I'm just going in, I'm creating that shape. I don't need to file the edges or anything like that. And I'm just kind of piling it on a little bit until I think it's fairly thick enough. So now I'm going to start adding in some of the colors. And I'm doing it in the same general shape as the white part, um, just going around bordering it. Um, and it doesn't need to be pretty, It's you can overlap it over the different layers because you're going to file it down anyways to create a nice crisp line. Um, so I go in, I'm going in and I'm going to add a few different colors layering up to make a geode pattern. So after I've applied all the acrylic, I make sure to pinch the nail and then I go in with my drill and I'm filing down the bulk of the nail. I'm not filing the center of the white part, I'm just filing the colors and then the very edges of the white part so that it's still a nice shape for the nail, but keeping that bulk in the center. So now I'm going in with a round carbide drill bit and I'm just creating that pocket that I was talking about earlier. As you can see, I got a little bit enthusiastic and I went through the white part. Um, if you're doing this on a real client, you need to be very careful because you don't want to drill into their nail. But luckily I'm working on Susan today, my nail hand. So. I'm creating that pocket and then I'm going in with a smaller drill bit and I'm refining those smaller parts that the round bit was just too big for. And then I'm going in with another one that's even a little bit smaller 
and I'm really going in and I'm creating a kind of sharp edge. You don't want it to be smooth and rounded. You want it to be sharp and as deep as you can get it without hitting the natural nail. And again, this doesn't need to be super pretty and refined. This is a geode, so it's very organic and there's very rarely straight lines in nature. So it doesn't need to be super pretty. The more wiggly and less refined it is, the better. So now I'm going in and patching the white part that I drilled off and I cannot stress enough how careful you need to be if this is a real client to make sure that you do not hit that natural nail. And then after I've done that, I'm going in with my hand file to really refine the shape of the nail because the drilling was just kind of to create the rough shape. This is to make it look nice and slender, as slender as you can get it. This is gonna be a little bit of a thicker nail, but it doesn't need to be too thick. It still looks nice. So after everything is filed and buffed, I'm then going in with just a really thin layer of builder gel. You could probably use like a top coat, but I prefer the builder gel. And I'm just creating a little thin layer to place the crushed opal into, or crushed shells I think is what these ones are. And these are this is the color I'm using for the center part. I like to make it a little darker in the center to create more of an illusion of depth within the nail to make it more like a geode. So I'm going in with this darker blue in the very center and then I'm gonna go around the edge of that with a little bit of a lighter blue and then go around the edge of that with almost a white but it's still got a little bit of a blue tint to it. So after I've placed all the shells, I then go in and cure them to hold them in place and then I'm going to start building the structure back into that center part of the nail with some clear builder gel. Um, I chose to use builder gel so that it was crystal clear. I find that, at least with the acrylic that I use, the clear is still a little bit foggy and I really wanted this to just be super clear. So I'm going in, creating that structure thickening it up because I'm going to file afterwards to create the finished shape of the nail. Um, so I'm going in and I'm curing between each layer and just building it up. So after that's all cured, I then go in with some alcohol and just remove that inhibition layer. And then I'm going in and I'm filing the shape.
So for another bit of added detail, I'm going in with a silver shimmer builder gel and I'm just placing a thin line around the light blue part. And this does not need to be a straight line. I found it looks nicer with a little bit of a shaky wave to it. And then kind of creating a little bit of a point. So for this nail, I'm going to be doing more of a purple-pink design. Um, same steps apply though for this nail as well.
So this is another design I did using aqua and teal and these are the final three looks so if you like these please feel free and subscribe, give it a like, comment down below and I'll see you next time.